Sad story behind this song. Look it up. I don't want to talk about it. So, I tried to do a Jimmy thing, right? And it just wasn't working out because I couldn't, I couldn't really form the song and the chords and really make the song sing the way I wanted it to. But we will go through some of that. It was kind of like a. So I, I was stepping on the song and it just, I just wasn't feeling that. So we're going to play it straight and do more like what they're doing on the recording. I will show you how to do some of that vocal melody stuff if you want to do that. And then I'll give you a few different ways to play all the chords, right? So with the intro, a couple different things going on. You have the piano part will play a couple different ways. And then you have the chords underneath. So the chords underneath, I'm kind of playing it more like a, like a, I don't know, pronounced funky Motown kind of way. Instead of, I'm playing it more in an up-tempo kind of way, right? So you have a B flat to E flat, right? And then you walk back D minor to C minor, back to B flat. So it's kind of like a... Alright, similar to their Silent Night. Uh, start out B flat major you can bar all of six then eight eight seven and you kind of just hit the bass and then give it a stab on the G B and E strings and then you're just kind of bouncing and keeping your rhythm muted right all right so that's just how I like to play it so when you go from B flat to E flat, you can play it here if you want on 6, 8, 8, 8. I like to play it here and play the C shape form because this way you get a different kind of timbre on the strings. I get to hear this instead of hearing, you know, I already heard this high E right here. So instead of going, So it's subtle, but you know, <clears throat> it's little things that you know add the color in different ways. So you can play six eight eight eight, or you can bar three from A down. <clears throat> then your root will be on uh, the E flat sixth fret A string, fifth fret D string, and then fourth fret B string. down you're gonna hit the E flat once then mute it and then that leads you into the one two three one two three and then back to B flat right so after you have E flat you're gonna bar fifth fret from A down and then have seven seven six and then walk that down that same shape two frets to C play C minor and then back to B flat so you get a the opening chords right and then underneath that you're gonna have the piano part or on top of that you'll have the piano part and we'll play it two different ways um, we're gonna do more like a wind cries Mary kind of Hendrix thing you know that whole thing so the first part you're gonna bar or you can play it however you want eighth fret a and D and then we're gonna walk up 
up some thirds. So we're going to have 8 on D, 7 on G. Then we'll have 10 and 8. Then we're going to slide into 13 and 12. Then we'll have 12 and 10, D and G. Then you're going to bar 8 on D and G. And you're going to pull off 10 to 8 and hammer back on to 10. And then we're going to form the uh, first inversion of an E-flat major chord with G in your bass. So you have 10 on A, and then bar D, G, and B on 8. All right, so you get... And then we're gonna walk it down. So you bar D and G on 12, hammer on to a 13 on D, and then go down to 10 and 12, and then 8 and 10, and then 7 and 8. time. Alright. Alright. And then the other way on top of that, you can play it either way. There's, you know, there's more ways to play it, but it sounds good if you want to make a loop or you can play either one over the song. They both sound good. And you can go, uh, This is more like the piano. So you have eight on A and D. You kind of roll your finger over. And you can get five on G to eight on G to seven on G. And you're gonna pull off ten to eight and hammer back on to ten on D. And then just hit G and B on the eight hit it again and walk back. You have a 7-6 GB to 5-4 GB. And then land on 3 G and B. So you'd have a... Alright, so that's that the opening part. And then... The last time he does it, before he starts singing the first verse, uh, he'll slide in this little blues thing, right? So you'll slide in from seven on G to six, or seven on D, six on G, into eight and seven. So then the first verse, there's really no guitar. There's something underneath that I can hear that's going like, like real soft. Right? I don't know what it is. <clears throat> okay. And then you get into the verse, and when he starts playing the verse, he kind of does this rhythm on a B flat. He does it on E flat sometimes, but most of the time he just plays it straight. When he walks it down from from the five to four F to E, he'll go. Right. So yeah, B flat. You can mess with the rhythm. It's just kind of bass up mute. And then you go to E flat, you can play it wherever you want. I'll give you a few different ways to play all these, right? So if you want to play, you can play your 1, 4, and 5 here. You can play uh, B flat, your E flat on 6, 8, 8. And when it says, um, I know for you, it may sound strange. So when he gets into that, I know to you, it may sound strange, that's when we go to the 5 chord to F major. That's going to be 8, 10, 10, 10. And then he goes back to E flat, to the 4 chord, and E flat, right? So if you want to play them differently, you could sit here, and I was going to do this as a triad exercise, but I didn't want to do that to this song, because the song's just so pretty. It just, you know. So we can go B flat here. You got E flat right there, right? So you can go 3, 3, 1. 
that's your B flat, then you can go 3, 4, 3, play it like this in bar it. So that's your B flat and then your F, take this shape up two frets. Alright, and then you could also play, you know, like the short form of B flat up here. Then you can play the first inversion of the E flat, do licks out of it. Same thing with the F, walk it up, put the third in the bass, 12, 10, 10, 10. Right, and then um, you could also play like triads up here if you wanted to go out of your D shape, your B flat. Got your E flat here, 13, 12. 11, 11, your B flat would be 10, 11, 10, or you can bar it, E flat, and you can walk it down on that, uh, you have E flat, D minor, 12, and then bar 10, G, B, and E, take that shape two frets down to C, C minor, back to your B flat, all right. So there's all different ways you can play them. Just, you know, whatever sounds good to your ears, whatever's comfortable. And then, um, so you have the verse. And that's everything. And then it repeats at the end. That, that, that. Right. And that's all the chords for the song. Um, what else is there? So you have... Uh, the little vocal melody thing, right? If you wanted to do some of that, I'll give you some of what I was trying to do with the whole Hendrix thing. So we're gonna bar um, six on G and or on B and E, hammer on to eight on B, and then have five and six on G and B, hammer on to seven on G, and then hit five and six by itself. And then bar D and G on seven, hammer on to eight on D. So you get sunshine, blue skies. And then we'll do the same thing. Just change the, the rhythm, the melody. And the last time you just uh, hammer on and off a G on seven and land D on eight. You get sunshine. G and B on three, and then slide in five and four G B to seven six. Then you can just slide it back from seven five to three and pull off and land D on five. So you get I don't really know all the words, but then the next part will be a hammer on 8 to 10 on A, bar 8 on D and G, hammer on to 10 D, and get G and B on 8, and then pull off 10 to 8 on D, get A on 10. You can repeat that again. 
And then that day after day, I stay locked up in my room. <laughs> Okay, so you're just gonna bar. It's like the first part. It's all just kind of changing the uh, the melody of the same kind of licks, right? So you just bar G and or B and E on six, hammer on to eight, and then hit it by itself, and then hammer on again. repeat that lick on three to five. You can play with all this, right? None of it's exact, but it's all, you know, you hear it when you're playing it, right? All right, so then we get a, I know to you it may sound strange. So we're gonna hammer on 10 to 12 on D. We get G and B on 10. Hammer on to 12 on G. And you can slide into 13, back to 12, pull off to 10. And then hammer on to 12 again. And then go up to D and G and bar and hammer on to D on 12. And then bar D, G on 8, hammer on to 10 on D, slide into 11, back to 10, pull off to 8. And then just hammer on 8 to 10 on A, catch D and G on 8. That'll lead you back into your B flat. So you get uh, all together. part that's similar to like the my girl da -da 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 -da. and they're just kind of outlining the chords that little stuff just outline the b flat e flat can't really think if there's anything else i think that's it i think that's everything is there anything else I want to go over? So just mess around with moving the shapes around. You know, just uh, find something that sounds good to your ears. And play along. It's a great song. Um, just practice slow. Have fun.